Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to be talking about G-actin and F-actin in microfilaments and what the distinctions or the differences between G-actin and F-actin are. So first, um, let's just quickly revisit the idea of microfilaments. Microfilaments are part of the eukaryotic cytoskeleton. Now, remember that the cytoskeleton includes things like microfilaments, uh, microtubules, intermediate filaments, and I do have another video comparing and contrasting those different elements of the cytoskeleton, so check that out if you're interested. Going back specifically, though, to the microfilaments, these are also known as actin filaments because they are composed of a monomer called G-actin. Now the G here stands for globular. Okay, so this is talking about like a single globular protein, G-actin. Now the G-actin monomers assemble into a polymer. The polymer made up of those G-actin monomers is known as F-actin, where the F stands for filament. So filament or filamentous. So here we can see this soluble G-actin and here the insoluble F-actin filament. Now the F-actin is composed of two twisted chains of G-actin that's been assembled into the F-actin filament. Now this polymerization of G-actin into F-actin requires that G-actin first bind ATP. Now I want to just make a note here that if you're interested in polymerization, how monomers are linked together to form polymers, you can check out a video that I have on dehydration synthesis reactions and hydrolysis reactions, which is kind of how depolymerization works. So you can check out that video if you're interested. Now, specifically, the polymerization of G-actin into F-actin, it, it involves three different phases, and we're going to talk about those three phases right up here. So the first one is called nucleation. This is when the ATP has, has bound. So what we can see here, it added these little green circles onto the soluble G-actin to show that they are bound to ATP. Once that has happened, a stable complex called a nucleus. So a stable complex of G-actin, just like a few G-actin, um, see I pictured it here with three, forms something called a nucleus. And the second step is elongation, and that's where you have growth at either end of the nucleus. So basically growing by adding G-actin monomers on, this thing is going to grow and assume this filament form. Now the third, uh, the third phase is called the steady state phase or sometimes the stationary phase. And this is where you can have some G-actin exchange at the ends, like maybe some G-actin pops off, but then it's replaced with another one, but there's no net growth when it's in that, um, that steady state phase. Now, I've been pointing at this process throughout the video, and you can see here I've got the ATP binding, the nucleation, the formation of that nucleus right there. I'll go ahead and label that. And then the elongation into that insoluble F actin filament. I do want to make sure you realize that this process is more complex than what is shown here. There's multiple regulatory proteins involved that I have not depicted here. I also want to make sure you realize that there is such a thing as actin remodeling. You know, the cell is using these microfilaments for a variety of functions. If you want more details on that, remember to check out my video on the cytoskeleton. Um, so you can have the microfilament, you can, the cell might need to break it down on one end, or that's the depolymerization, 
or might need to grow it on the other end. That would be more polymerization. And so I want you to see here, I've got these small little green dots. Remember that's indicating ATP. There's going to be ATP present wherever there's polymerization happening, meaning growth of that microfilament. Um, and then where the ATP has been pulled off, or um, actually where that phosphate group has been pulled off, and so instead of an ATP, there's an ADP. There's more information on, um, on that if you check out my dehydration synthesis video. But where there's only ADP left, that's where you're going to have depolymerization or like breakdown of that. Now, I've been um, doing something uh, new with my videos, and that is taking a picture of the final board. So if you want a PDF, it's free, a free PDF of this board with all of the answers filled in, check out the tiny URL in the description below. And thank you for watching Biology Professor, and I will see you guys next time for more free study videos. Thanks for watching.